Dear students, let us look at Shakespeare's sonnet number 30. Sonnet number 30 is titled When to the Sessions of Sweet Silent Thought. The first line of the sonnet that begins with When to the Sessions of Sweet Silent Thought. This sonnet number 30 is quite different from other sonnets. In other sonnets, poet who describes the theme of friendship, etc., was familiar through his language. The vocabulary or the language and the terms that he used were very common. But this sonnet is unique and different because it is full of unfamiliar terms. The vocabulary that poet uses here is associated with legal world. The terms which are commonly used in the field of law or legal one is filled in the sonnet. When to the sessions of sweet silent thought that itself begins with the words like sessions speaks about how the whole sonnet is made up of those unfamiliar technical terms in the sonnet. The poet thinks about the theme of sadness versus memory. The whole sonnet has a central theme of personal sadness versus the memory of friendship. The sonnet tries to prove that whatever may be the extreme sadness of the poet, the entire sadness of the poet, personal grief, loneliness, misery, all can be overcome if the memory of the friend flashes on his mind. The power of that friendship and its memory is such that all his sadness can vanish, can disappear from his present life. The memory of the past or the memory of the past friendship is capable of making all his present misery disappear within no time. That is what is the strength of this son. Even though sonnet is full of unfamiliar legal terms to the common readers, it has its own power. The whole sonnet is filled with such vocabulary. When to the sessions of sweet silent thought, I summon up remembrance of things past. I sigh the lack of many a thing I sought. And with old woes, new wail my dear time's waste. Then can I drown an eye unused to flow. For precious friends hid in death's dateless night. And weep afresh love's long since cancelled woo. These beginning lines of the sonnet are full of such technical terms. For example, the word like sessions, summon up, sort, wail, waste, time, unused, dateless, cancelled are some examples of the terms which are commonly used in business transaction and legal terms and agreements. Poet tries to highlight the sorrow through these words like sessions. When he sits silently alone, he calls it as a session. And the memory that flashes on his present mind is what he calls as summoning up the past time that flashes on the present in the form of sadness 
is what he sees here and how that will be like loss and dateless these sorrows are dateless and they suddenly come back just like what the court sends a summons to the client for the inquiry in the court the memory is like such a inquiry that takes place in his life and when that sorrow comes it seems to be like weeping a fresh loves long since cancelled o even the one thinks that the past sorrows are cancelled and gone they will again come back to the present day and they will destroy all the present happiness or coolness of the person because the power of that sorrow is such that that will make one unhappy poet that is why thinks that he can mourn the expense of many a vanished sight the past disappeared moments or pictures might come to his mind and it will cost so much then can i grieve at grievances for gone and heavily from wo to wo tell over the sad account of poor be mourned more which i knew pay as if not paid before the words like account pay paid are very common terms in the business transaction but if the while i think on the dear friend all losses are restored and sorrows end the last two lines which are couplets try to summarize and send a message of shakespeare in all his sonnets the couplet is very significant the line number 13 and 14 what we call as a couplet are highly significant because they make the entire sonnet so powerful through the last two lines if the poet is able to remember his dear friend and the past days all the losses which are caused by the sorrow unhappiness and past days of friendship will be overcome and all losses are restored and sorrows end how poet expresses his confidence self confidence and hope in the last line is worth noticed all the losses are restored the friendship memory of his friend is so powerful it is worth millions because all the loss can be compensated the memory of his friendship is so powerful it shows the power of a friendship even though legal unfamiliar connotation is there in the sonnet even though language is unfamiliar the sadness that can be overcome by the memory of a friendship is true and poet expresses that ultimate confidence in the last two lines that is why those two lines are very significant in making the whole sonnet meaningful and very affectionate thank you